first time I saw an F10 live on the road was here. Yeah. Oh, that's a cool story. So it's coming here. It was white. And he was going really slow and I'm like, oh, that wind like that. Like, Holy shit, there's an F10 in there. I come up to this corner, I come around it, and there's a cop with lights up going down. Oh no. <laughs> It's like, hey, oh, at least the guy was driving this place. Yeah, it's funny. Well, this is nice. This is all new. Yeah, first paving here in Peninsular. So where have we been? Oh, uh, we're just getting back from ECS tuning. That's right. So we went down for a, uh, a tour of the facility, R&D lab, everything. They had got, got like 30 rooms down there, all of which have different functions. And we saw CAD designs of upcoming products and prototypes and all really sorts of crazy I didn't stuff. It's huge. We it's saw the, huge. the warehouse and the shipping room, and they're sending out like 2,500 to 4,800 orders per day. Uh, that place seemingly is run like clockwork. Everything was very well organized and modern, and everybody was very nice. We got to drive an M4, six speed um, Yas Marina Blue M4, which was fast. And uh, now we're taking the fun roads on the way back up to Hudson, because that's all the way down in Seville, Ohio, which is about 50 minutes from my house. Okay, we got $231 in there so far, folks. Oh, now here we go. 380. Probably oh, takes up two spots. It's this car again. That's pretty. It's a vlog clip. We're on the T5i. Uh, Lindsay's headed back to camp in her Jetta. She came to watch American Horror Stories or something. Uh, I just got back from a drive, a test drive, testing this car for the first time in four years is now a 50 state. Oh, I did it again. I took a 10 mile drive with my hood not shut. Good thing it still latches down and like can't pull up even if you try. To get the hood to open, you have to pull this. Well, though you could probably go like 140 miles an hour and it might fly open. But, I got that back on. But this is now a 50 state ready car again. Um, it's the 91 octane version and it works and my nice sharp crisp throttle response is back and all that good news so it's a modified version of the 91 octane tune that i use i won't elaborate much more on that it's very slightly modified uh, for this car specifically but that is done ecs was able to retune this thing in like 15 minutes which is pretty awesome then they just put a new sticker with the new part number on there and i'll put that back put that bach in the basement back Back in the basement box. What's up? Three minutes to midnight and time to wrap this up. I've been running all day, literally all the way to midnight here, wrapping up the vlog. There has been no time for any messing around outside of, well, we went to a car show and I had a burger, but you know, if you, unless you don't count that messing around, that was like 15 minutes. Anyways, I got up today. I did, uh, tried to catch up on mail and vlogs and stuff. I, I got through some mail. I did not get through any vlogs, which sucks because I'm still like three days behind now. I'm doing the best I can on that. Um, I mowed a lot across the street. It had been only a few days and it was like going through a field again. That sucked. Took a very quick shower and then headed down to ECS. I uh, talked about it in the car. We got a great tour. Their facilities there. Everything. The place is huge. Everybody's awesome. Um, it looks like it'd be a great place to work. Too bad we're heading across the country. Um, they should move to California. It'd be a little bit cooler than out in the cornfields of Ohio, in my opinion. But I uh, got to drive an M4, which was sweet. Uh, manual. It's in Sport Plus. It was rev matching for me, which I thought it was me, and I'm like, oh, this is easy to rev match. I've mastered it already. No, the car was doing it. And then I tried it, and the first couple times sucked, but then I got it, so it was pretty easy to rev match. Um, like that car a lot, minus the sound. I cannot get past the sound of the S55. Um, I don't think it's a good sounding engine, and I've never heard an exhaust system that sounds good on it. Joe, I know you'll back me up. Some other people will. I've never heard anybody say that they love it. Uh, kind of the same with the S54. It's got a rasp to it. It's not bad. Um, you can make that sound good, especially with some sort of intake. Kenan, leave a comment. Um, or Adrian, leave a comment. But 
that's where we are. I'm making a lot of progress on this. The M5 is now ready for anywhere I want to take it um, in the United States, anywhere I can get 91 octane gas, which I'm pretty sure is everywhere. Um, the tint is happening in California. I have acquired a um, sunshade for the windshield until I replace the windshield and then get that tinted. It's the BMW one made for the E39 that folds out. It doesn't hit the camera too much. The Valentine I will remove just because I don't want to sandwich it in there and then bake it. Fits around the mirror, fits all the way into the wide part at the bottom. It's a really nice cover or shade. So I have that. Um, what was the other big thing pending? The shipping is set up and the film is supposed to go on Monday. On Monday, it's supposed to go in at noon to have expel clear film on the mirrors, the door handles, like just this part that opens, um, the front bumper in its entirety, and the headlights. Am I missing anything? I think that's all I'm gonna do. The hood's not in good enough shape to do, neither are the fenders. Um, a pillars, I've never really seen stone chips and A pillars. I don't want to line here, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm extremely careful with gas, so I'm not doing under the gas cap. I'm not doing the rear bumper. I'm very careful with that. I'm not going to do anything here. I don't want to see lines. Eventually, someday when I repaint parts or this entire car, um, especially the hood and fenders, I will film them completely. And then we'll have everything from here up done. But that's going to be time and money, and, and I don't have either. So. Um, but the reason I said it's supposed to go in on Monday is because next week um, is severe random pop-up thunderstorms Monday through Friday. And um, not only do I not want to drive the car in rain and then spend three to five hours cleaning it after a rainstorm, I can't because uh, you can't drive a car that's just been filmed in rain. Rain can get on the side of the uh, uh, film and, and lift that up and compromise the seal. So I'm not about to do that after several hundred dollars of work being done. I can do the same thing in California at more than two times the price. It's the exact same product. It's just twice the price for some reason. Um, so I hope I don't have to do that because that would suck to waste $600. Anyways, uh, I'm going to go in and sleep and, and rest. And then tomorrow's going to be more busy stuff. I got to do another lawn. I do four, including my own. I've told everybody that I'm moving, so they need to set up lawn services. And the one client uh, set up a service and they started today, so I'm done. So as my dad said, that's one monkey off my back for these next, these last 11 days here. I still got three, and one's done. So I've got two to do before the end of the week. I'll be kept good and busy. So I'll talk tomorrow then on Thursday. Good night.